I got something really, really cool here. But let's set this up. Hold on. In, and right there. I still need to talk about that. So I'll put that there so you guys can just see it, knowing that, you know, I'm still going to be talking about that. Okay, I feel like this is a little bit bright. So let's, I think that should be better. Cool, okay, in here, I have something pretty interesting. Cause you guys know that I'm a, I love Canon cameras. I love my R5 and I've loved this since the day I bought it. Everything about it is so nice. Like the, the way the body feels, the way the lens work, except the fact that the lens is extremely expensive. Beside that point, I just love the construction of the R5. It doesn't feel like a cheap camera, you know what I mean? It doesn't feel like if I drop it, everything is basically destroyed. I have something in this box that basically could rival this camera in a photography set, not in video, because we know the R5 video is amazing. We have this, I'm gonna return that. This is perfect. I'm gonna leave that there for a second. Hopefully it doesn't drop. And then in here I have, yep, Sony battery and a Sony charger, which means I have a Sony camera. And of course, you guys already saw this in the video, so there's not much to talk about. But I have in my hand the Sony A7R4. This is a 61 megapixel camera. Unlike my Canon R5, which is 45 megapixel, this is a lot more. So just by the specs, this camera should be a lot better. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use that. Actually, I might not use this either. But I'm gonna leave it on there because I only have this for two weeks and I really wanna test the crap out of this thing and compare it to the R5, maybe take it out for street photography and then I can bring it back and like really talk about it some more. But I've owned so many Sony cameras in the past that I think this is a good test. Sony a7R4 is like the latest R series, which is the resolution series. That's why it has like 61 megapixels, which is insane. What I'm doing right now, I'm checking all this like slots to see anything super cool, anything new that is shocking. But this camera has been out for a while, like I said, so you guys probably already know quite a bit about it. But if you guys didn't, the handle feels a lot nicer than the a7 II and any two series. And I think even a7 III, to be honest with you, it has a huge grip. So actually my hand isn't that big, it's a small hand, so it fits here perfectly. Like I feel like it's a nice grip, almost there and I don't, I'm not touching this part which releases the lens. I honestly wish that they put it on this side which is kind of like the Canon, but it's just no accident, right? So if I use it like this, I don't want to accidentally tap the lens. On the, the top dial right here, people were saying how the manual photo button, right, is so far from the video button when it should just be next to each other. Personally, it doesn't bother me that much. I mean, the photo button is far from the video, that is a fact, but eh, whatever, because I use picture in manual and that's it. One, two, and three are all my video files. So basically the M is next to the one, two, and three, so I pretty much have it next to video already. It's my mindset, my thought, I guess. The button layout, the buttons are here feels a lot nicer than the other ones. Then by the other ones, I mean the Sony A7 series and the old A7 R and then the old A7S. But not comparing to any of the new ones like the S3 or the A1 or the A92. Other than that, I mean, I'm excited for this and I can keep talking about it, but you guys don't want to hear me just sit here and talk about this camera all day. So, since it's not even a new camera, which doesn't... What is going on? <laughs> that That's weird. It's not even a new camera, so I guess it doesn't even matter that I sit here and talk about it. It's not that impressive. What is new here, though, is this. This right here is a G Master lens, 50mm f1.2. It kind of reminds me of my Canon f1.2. One second. Actually, I'm going to take this off. This is my Canon F1.2 50mm and this is the Sony. 
Honestly, just by holding this right now, the Canon feels a lot heavier than the Sony. The Sony feels really light. If you guys don't know about dust particles, if you see anything on your back of your lens, you should definitely clean it because that will show up in all your pictures. I'm not joking, in all of them. And to get rid of them is actually way worse than just to use one of these and blow it out. Interested? Link in the description below. This setup right here feels like it's about the same weight as my Canon RF 50 millimeter. So quality right here for sure. This, definitely the size is really nice. Whoa, this is super dirty. The size is super nice. So the weight in this, it feels good to have something this light in my hand. I'm gonna remove this because right now, just hearing this sound is kind of bothering. That's there. I don't need any of these. I don't need this. Um, pretty much that's there. I'm good. Okay. I honestly like to just put things away if I'm not using it so I don't misplace anything. Okay, this is a lot cleaner. I just wanted to move all this out of the way. Pretty much the same weight. This is not even on R5. is not even on there, but R5 is recording us right now. But I, the reason why I got this R4 is because I really want to test it. I really want to take it out, do some shoot photography, maybe take some product shots with this, take some portraits with it, and seeing how it really feels in the hand. Is 61 megapixels too much nowadays? Do people really need it? To be honest, 45 is amazing. It's like the sweet spot. My computer is like just handling it. I think 61 might burn it out, but I still really want to test it out. So I'm grabbing this camera. I'm gonna go out for a little bit and do some shoots and we'll come back. And I'm gonna talk about how this camera feels. So let's just go out there and do some shoots. Man, I totally missed that. Literally, if I had that guy walk by again, it would have been a great shot. Oh man, I totally missed it. And, okay. Well, I uh... Should have gotten that shot because that guy was just walking right by and I had it. It was nice. It was a good shot. Didn't get it though, so whatever. For some reason, I like really love using a viewfinder, but sometimes it's just not going to work. So this guy right here. And if I can do, I just automatically does a few. Okay. Um, let's see. That's cool. Um, let's walk around this way. Something more interesting, I guess. Right now, I have it at 1 over 400 with 1.2 and 100 ISO. Hoping uh, I'm gonna get some cool shots. Maybe I'll try to get a shot with this water. It might be good. Flip out screen? Nope. Flip out screen. That's okay. Let's see what I can do. Hmm. I was hoping that guy would walk by. <laughs> But he never did. Sometimes you can wait.
Wow, that is sharp. That is extremely sharp. Did I get it though? I don't know. Uh, hold on, let me cross before I get hit by a car. Small? Let's go small. Nope, I'm gonna switch this back to medium. And then hopefully, get some good shots. Nope, nothing here. I kind of miss my touch screen, but joystick still is better than none. The touch screen is definitely not as good as Canon touch screen. Seems a little bit of a lag. See that? Just a tap and then it goes. Without the technology out, I feel like it should be really fast. But it's not. It's okay. Sometimes I feel like silent shooting is a little bit better just because it's like if I were to shoot somebody they won't know that I'm shooting them. So I don't really like if someone pointed like their camera at me and shot me like right as soon as I pass it's kind of weird you know I'm trying to take this shot Kind of looks interesting, but I don't know how it's gonna be. Wow, the dynamic range is good in this camera. That's, wow. Yeah, that's impressive. Let's go in here. See if anybody who would pass. Someone would pass. It's cool, crop into super, Super 33, I set it to the trash button so it kind of zo zooms in real quick. It has this logo right here that tells you that I zoomed in. Oops, I touched the screen. Come on. Here it is. I get the thing about Sony cameras. I let's say if I wanted to flip it this way for vertical, I can't. It's all horizontal pictures only, and I shoot a lot of vertical nowadays, which makes it kind of hard, you know. So I don't know, but the autofocus on it is pretty impressive. I like this shot. Check this out. Wow. I don't know why. <laughs> Even this, if I zoom in, you can totally see the detail in this. Look at this. That's quick. Impressive, Sony. Impressive. It's a lot of waiting. Especially photography. It's kind of like you're doing landscape right there's a lot of uh, 
waiting for the rock. Ooh, that Barnes Noble. Let's see if I punched in right there. That pose in the way, I'm not sure if I like that pose. Let's back up a little bit. Here it is. I kind of really like this Super 35 mode. Kind of just be able to punch in, it's kind of nice. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna have to go back to my cannon and set that. That's pretty cool pretty dope feature. I definitely want these one day, the sprinter. shoot photography you should definitely try to set an aperture priority and just keep everything else out and uh, shutter speed will do it for you let me see how low shutter speed will go 200 and that baby is so cute
you ever shoot shoot photography, the best tip I can give you is put it on aperture priority and set your ISO at you know 100 or depending on how dark it is, and then your aperture can be you know however much you want your bokeh to be, and all you have to do is just adjust it, and once you adjust it. It does everything else for you. Here's that picture I wanted. Let me see. Back button focus, huh? That stop sign so distracting. Let's see. It's not like this side's better, huh? I'll figure something out. The Super 35 mode is monstrous though. I dig it. Is the bird right there flying? Chances? Chances? Chance I'm gonna hit it. And... Oh man, it's so fast. Yeah, there's no way. I don't even know where it is no more. this shot come on oh Sony Sony don't play me oh man I think I got it I think I got it 61 megapixel let's go oh. I can almost see what kind of airline that is no way what China Airline. That's 61 megapixel, you guys. What the heck? That's pretty awesome. have an idea, a reflection idea, let's switch it to manual focus, take a picture of some car right especially that you know the one thing I like about Sony I love the way it sounds it's like click 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 wow it just sounds so cool there's a nice sweet sound to it click 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 
that building right there, if there's another building right next to it, ooh, that reflection might be really nice. There's nothing, it's just blank. It's <laughs> just reflection of wires. Well, that's the end of that side. Pretty much walk around this whole spot. Uh, definitely need a bigger street, you know? That'd be kind of cool. There's a lot of airplanes on this side. Perfect time. I almost got him, man. I almost caught him. Didn't get him. I crop that in later because guess what? Maybe I crop it in right now. <laughs> nope. I just got this book that just finally came in. This is Street Photography by Evan Rand. Right? Rand? 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 Beautiful book. I love it. I definitely recommend it to you guys. One day, I'm gonna have my own photography book, but this is good. Always good to support other creators. It's always a collab, you guys, not a competition. Anyways, we're gonna be talking about this Sony A7R4. I took this out, right, and you guys just saw the clip. I actually had a really nice time shooting with this thing. I was really surprised that the autofocus is so good. I mean, we all know that Sony's autofocus is amazing already, but to kind of use it from going to Canon, you see the difference. When I put a dot on somebody and if they just walking by and I just take that shot, it's in focus. Sometimes with the Canon, I feel like it might miss it, but this, I was shocked. It I probably got it at every single time. It does feel different, definitely. It has a different sound. Look, listen. It has that sound. It's, it's definitely a different sound. It's, it's Sony. It's lighter than my camera. This is a same 50 millimeter 1.2. There's a lot of buttons to customize everything, which is pretty cool. The color grading is different as well, but overall, you guys, I think both cameras are really amazing. And I don't know, can't go wrong either way. But this 61 megapixel, it's just so dope. I actually didn't think I would like it this much. I was like, 61 is way too many. Too many megapixels. 45, perfect. I wish it had a flip out screen because sometimes I'm shooting vertical shot and I get down low and I can't really flip this up. It only flips this way, like that, but you know, it doesn't flip up, which kind of sucks because it makes me kind of get down low as well. But you know, you can't get everything you want from a camera or else they wouldn't make the other ones. All right, you guys, if you found this video helpful, make sure you hit that like button. And if you found this video not helpful, make sure you watch it again. I'll catch you guys in the next one. My name is Andy. Peace out.